Hi guys, it's Barb again, back with the DIY. I'm going to be using these extra jumbo popsicle sticks, craft sticks. Um, and the reason is because I don't have the palettes at my store. And I'm using these, this uh, Waverly paint and ink and also antique wax. My dollar store doesn't have all the craft stuff that other stores have, so I have to make my own little walls and ballots and things. And so, I'm just going to take these jumbo sized craft sticks, and I'm going to take eight of them, and put them together to make kind of like a palette. And I'm going to try to get them spaced um, evenly apart without using a ruler, which I hate to use. So, just spacing them out apart is eyeballing it to see how what makes it look good. Um, I'm gonna start doing some like scenery videos on my channel just so I like, have something different but I'm still gonna be doing my DIYs of course but I just love uh, the scenery in West Virginia I'm gonna use these salt and pepper shakers and this rope but the rope I'm gonna take apart into three pieces and I was just showing you what I was doing with the rope. After I get these lined out how I want them, eight of them, I'm gonna take these smaller craft sticks and place them at the bottom with some hot glue just to give it that crate look. And I don't know why my Dollar Tree doesn't carry, you know, the stuff that other ones carry. So I saw um, Jazz on DIY Home and Crafts, or Crafts and Home, make um, one of these with a palette she bought, and I just thought it was so cute. So I'm just adding these extra little popsicle sticks for support, and cut the extra off at the end to make it look right. hot glue that back together and I'm putting another popsicle stick across these two just to make um, make them support each other I'm gonna put on my little finger protectors my neighbor got me I'm so appreciative of that she bought them for me at another store and here I'm doing the same thing just put the popsicle sticks on to get the palette made these little finger guards really work well keep you from burning your fingers on the hot glue I'm gonna add another stick for support and then there you have your little palette I'm going to take off a little bit of the glue that came through. Then I'm going to take this antique wax, Waverly wax, and start painting my wood. Now, I don't want it real dark. I want it kind of like a stain. So as I brush it on, I'll wipe it off a little bit just so that it's not real dark. So I get the wax on really good, and I'm making sure the edges are done as well. I'm trying to get it thinned out as much as possible so it's not so dark. 
then I just take a baby wipe or something and just wipe off the excess so that it's not so dark. And you just go ahead and continue painting the rest. almost done just make sure you get those edges so that it looks nice and painted all around I'm doing a little bit of the back to keep it even Just touching it up a little bit. And there you go. That part's done. But we have our salt and pepper shakers, and we're going to take this um, rope that I separated from the big piece of rope. It's just one of the pieces of it out of the three. And I'm just going to add a little hot glue to have, make it stick while I go around the top of the jars and just gonna wrap it around so that it covers the top and it has some left over in the back to put through our palette. And just add as much glue as you need wherever it may fall off. So I'm just going to take the little rope so jute and push it through the pallet in the spaces in between each little stick. And I'm doing it on the third one over on each side so it'll be even. and just pull it through it's not hard at all and just get it good and tight and space it where you think it looks nice just add a little hot glue in the back of it to hold it while you're tying the back and I'm just fixing up the front where the jute came off. So now just tie the back really good and add some hot glue over it just to keep it secure. And I cut off my extra jute so that it's not hanging in the back. And so there you have one and now we can work on the second one. We're just going to do the same thing. Put the jute on the top of the glass jar and then put it through the pallet in between the sticks. You can use bigger like paint sticks to do this with bigger jars and you can use the uh, salt and pepper shakers that look like mason jars whichever you prefer and so I'm just getting it through the back of the palette and cutting off a little of the extra hairs that are on the jute just arranging it so that it's nice and even with the other one put my hot glue at the top to hold it in place a little bit 
You can even put your initials at the top of this or welcome or anything like that that you wish or at the bottom. That will look really nice. And so here we've got it together and you see the back. Now you can make a little tie. Um, you s just make a little round tie out of the jute and hot glue it to the back of the sign right underneath the popsicle sticks that stick out there. And just hot glue it on there. Add a little popsicle stick later for support. And then you've got a little hanger. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. You can leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell. You may have to hit it twice so that you get notified every time I make a video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you liked it.